And the starting lineups have concluded. So just sit right back and relax. We'll be back in just a moment. It's NBA basketball on 2K Sports. We're glad you could join us on this exciting Friday night matchup. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Coach Brett Brown wants Ben Simmons shooting at least one three-pointer per game. His shot's not quite there yet, but Simmons said, in other areas, I'm great. I run the floor. I'm physical. I can rebound. Guard one through five. There's a lot more than just shooting that goes into the game. Kevin, he's right, but he still needs to work on the shooting. Absolutely, D.A., thank you. Plenty of experience, Greg, on the floor tonight. How does that shape what we're about to see, do you think? You know, Kevin, this is one of those games where guys are going to be smart out on the floor. They're going to be in the right positions to make plays. And honestly, this could come down to who makes the bigger, tougher shots. And now the Lakers starting group. LeBron and Green make up the backcourt. Howard is out there with Anthony Davis. And it's Caldwell Pope in at the three slot. And for Philadelphia. The tall lineup out there for the 76ers. Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Horford, and MB. Now here's James. Green passes to Davis. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. LeBron shot is off. And so Horford will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Richardson kicks to Simmons. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. And here's the fast break. LeBron leading the way. Pope loose. Now Simmons back to Richardson. Fast break. The Lakers. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Caldwell Pope's got the first bucket of the game with the three for the Lakers. And you talk about the perfect veteran wing player. Danny Green's right at the top of that list. Solid defense, good shooter, and plays within himself. Now here's Simmons, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's his first foul. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Embiid against Howard. So active on this end of the floor. Love watching Howard use his wingspan to bother scores. Here's Caldwell Pope. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And Greg, the experiences that Danny Green has had over the course of his terrific career, uh, it's hard to match. I mean, he's won multiple titles in his career, done so in different places with different types of teams. He's seen it all and knows what it takes to succeed. And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's James. Out left of the wing. It's stolen by Harris. Here we go, one on one. Richardson with it. Now Green defending. They grab their own miss. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. A three ball. It's hauled in by Harris. Richardson finds Harris. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Not shying away at all from some contact. Harris takes it to the rim with force. Outside, Davis. And stolen by Richardson. Now the 76ers on the break. Richardson's running, and the basket is good. Boy, he's an excellent defender. You look at Josh Richardson. He's got real good length, athleticism, quickness, and does a good job reading the opposition, too. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. 
And Greg, Josh Richardson's a terrific ball handler out on the wing who can create for others. Richardson gets a lot of assists per game at that wing position, not just looking to finish plays, but also to create for others. Very well-rounded threat on the offensive end, and that gives this team another dimension in terms of playmaking. The Lakers making a switch here. Kuzma's checked in. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Caldwell Pope outside. Loads it up for Davis. An emphatic LU jam. Boy, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley oop. Simmons passes to Harris. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Davis kicks to LeBron. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. They kick it out to Green. Six on the shot clock. Embiid against Kuzma. The 76ers lead it to the paint. Offensive rebound, Richardson. The layup missed. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Yeah, you know, Contavious Caldwell Pope, his quickness can be overwhelming at times. Really hard to defend if you're not physical and focused. And although it seems like KCP will never be a huge factor on offense, he can still give you valuable points and also that spacing he can provide out on the floor. Yeah, I agree with you there. And it's a valuable tool kit that he has because he can provide some playmaking and shot making and spacing of the floor. And he's also become more efficient as an offensive player. But he does know and recognize that his strength is at the defensive end his athleticism mobility and versatility and um, offense is um, tertiary to his contributions. Hey Greg you played in a different era of NBA defense when you look at how defense is played now in the league how do you feel about it. You know, Kevin, I, I think the introduction of the zone, by and large, has been great. Uh, you, you get a lot more switching, uh, and I think it brings more skill into the game. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I do miss the physicality that we had back in the 90s, but I tell you what, right now, my body wishes I had the opportunity <laughs> to play in this era. I bet it does. McGee with the block. Yeah, if you had to pick the top priority for McGee, I think that's it. Contest shots, block shots, get in the air, use that length to deny shots at the rim. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. Morris is checked in for the Lakers. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. For Philadelphia, they've gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Out to the wing. Embiid against McGee. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You know, Greg, we can all agree that Joel Embiid's a superstar in the league with this play, but you get the feeling he's the most criticized superstar in the league right now as well. You know, pundits and fans have questioned his fitness, his fit, but at the end of the day, he does get it done, and the numbers speak for themselves. Sure, the Embiid's an outspoken guy, which can invite a lot of criticism. The first free throw is good. 
And how about the defensive impact Embiid has on the floor? He's a great rim protector who can swipe an errant pass every so often. Yeah, I agree with you, Greg. I mean, he's just so big. He's mammoth. I mean, he's not only tall and long, he's deep, too. He's a thick guy. So he's an excellent rim protector, discourages inside attempts at a high rate, and clogs up the paint. That length is a huge asset. And then his foot movement, his, his agility for a guy of his size is pretty impressive, too. Rondo kicks to Caruso. Dishes it to Morris. 112 left to play in the first quarter. Second chance shot, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to go on Alec Burks. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. And he knocks down the first one. And Morris drops them both. We've got 108 left in the first quarter. Now, here's Thibel. Now the pass to Scott. The 10-footer. And the shot is long. Lakers have gone just 2 of 7 so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. Kuzma can't get it to go. 76ers trailing. So here's Burks. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Scott. Count the basket. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. McGee lays it up and banks it in. Hey, there's a reason why he shoots such a high percentage, guys. I mean, he picks smart shots, high quality shots, in close shots that he takes. Now, here's Burks. 12 seconds left in the first quarter. Pocket six. Here's Embiid. McGee with the block. And he's able to get it back. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Los Angeles on top. They lead by one. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return.